Okay, so that was what? Level six down? That's six worlds now? That one had two bosses. And let's see uh, what else we can do here. I think now I know how it scales the weapons. I'm going to look for weapons that scale with my uh, stats and see if I can find weapons that will be more effective. Okay. The game's the game seems polarizing. A lot of people are saying they like it, and others are saying they just don't. Some people are my boat, where they're like, "Meh, just doesn't feel so good." Others are like, "Nah, I I, I tough through it and I liked it." So, so what is the this secret now? of the elixir's whereabouts was taken by Zhang Rong with him to his grave. Elsewhere, Dong Zhou, a man whose ambition outweighs his conscience, brought the capital to its knees by force. Both Yuan Shao and Cao Cao suspected him to be connected to the elixir and forged a plan to bring him down. These two great eminences lit the way and drew many together. Mm -hmm. They amassed a colossal force comprised of 18 separate armies wow. to stand against Dong Zhuo. That's awesome. 18 armies. Now we're into the mix. It's not done yet. Sun C, I remember him, Sun C. Yep, I totally remember him. Now is the time to show the tenacious courage of the Swens. Funny, it's been a long time since I played any Dynasty Warriors, but I remember some of these characters. That's disgusting. Stop smacking your lips, you gross old fart. <laughs> ben Shu, victory is within our grasp. Men, the time has come to make Dong Chuo pay for his tyranny. All units attack! Whoa! I remember your face. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. May glory find you once more on the battlefield today. <clears throat> Our foes are strong as well. <clears throat> you said your name was Hong Jin. Can I ask you to attend to the wounded? <clears throat> oh, I think my wife's actually home. You propose I flee to Meiwu Fort with the elixir. My lord, I, Lu Bu, uh -oh, will hold Bu. the enemy back and buy you the time you need. You do that, Lu Bu. Uh oh. The ultimate badass, Lu Bu. It ever loads. Oh wow. We're right into the stage, huh? I want to get to the save point here first. The capital fell into chaos after your departure. Dong Zhuo, governor of Bing province, came and took the court by force. The number of injured is overwhelming. I hear Sun Jian is putting up resistance ahead, so if you get to him, you should be able to assist. Leave it to me to treat the people here. This is our first flag. Right here, good. It's gonna be a battlefield we have to cross, huh? It's probably gonna be tough. All right, guys, bear with me for a second. Let me just mute the mic and uh, get Jasper downstairs with my wife, and then we'll continue.
Well, I've been totally fooled. I thought my wife arrived home from work. She didn't. It must have been my neighbor pulling into their driveway. But it sounded like a loud, like a car was arriving and everything. And it wasn't even her. So I just went down there like, where is she? She's not there. <laughs> so Jasper's going to probably end up running back in here. Because he probably isn't going to want to be alone down there. And, uh, you know, my wife should be arriving home anywhere in the next, like, 15 to 20 minutes. So then he's probably going to run out of here again. So that was weird. So by the way, hold on. Before we do this, let's look at my weapons. And let's see, do I have weapons that will scale with the wood and earth, which are my two highest stats right now, right? So right now, this scales only with earth and nothing else. Well, I guess fire. Okay, these sabers is a B in earth. Is anything that's highest in wood? Let's take a look. What is highest in wood? Anything? Nothing. This jade guarded sword is a C minus. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, seriously, like all the weapons. Ooh, a javelin. Okay. This javelin could be pretty good. Let's try some different stuff. Let's try the javelin. And let's look for another weapon that will scale. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. The ritual sword of chaos is C minus and B, right? Yeah. And that's what I had, isn't it? Yeah, this is a C minus and a B. This is B, a B. Straight up B. See that? Anything else that scales better? There's a couple of things that are just B just in Earth, but nothing else, really. Because now I'm starting to understand the whole scaling system. And that's where we have the Cavalry Javelin. That's better than the Polar Mace. Okay. So I think we're going to go with these two weapons now. Right? The ratings go up when you upgrade the weapon. Right, so the more I upgrade, the better the, the rating. So I feel like what we should do is try to go upgrade those. And go from there. Um, Can I go back to the... Uh, can I go back to the camp for now? The village? Because I want to. How do you go back to the village? My controller batteries are fucking low. Of course they are. God damn it. Anyone know how to go back to the village? Hidden village. Let me change my battery out. <laughs> Warfare Classic Rank 3 item. What I want to do is see can, with these weapons, can I upgrade it all, right? I think if I upgrade these weapons, they might be really good. Here's the pole arm. Let's see what it looks like. No, that's the sword. We've already used the sword before. Here's the pole arm. Could be pretty good. What are the attacks? Well, I mean, that's insane, but I don't know if I would ever want to use that. It's such a long, lengthy animation. Man, I don't know. The special attacks don't seem that good. Thank you. Nathan just re-upped his membership here and also became a member of DSP Reacts. Thank you so much, Nathan, for the support. I appreciate that. Like, this attack... Look at how long the animation is. Still going, like... Maybe against weaker enemies, but against the boss, that's like a death sentence. There's no way the boss is going to eat that whole thing. Right? <laughs> Seriously. All right, let me see if I can upgrade these, and also I'll see if we have any better armor. I don't know if we will. But let me see if I can upgrade these weapons. <sighs> I could use some more sleep. So the javelin and here we go, the ritual sword. So javelin is rank three steel. Let's upgrade that. Okay, I do have rank four steel, but I only have enough to upgrade either the sword or the javelin. Ah, shit. It's a tough, a tough decision. I'll go for the javelin again. Because the sword is mostly metal and, and wind. While this is... Yeah, see? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the javelin. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Now, as for everything else... I might, uh... 
Might get rid of ev everything else. Like the halberds? Well, that's what I was using, right? Hmm. I want to I wanna get rid of a bunch of sh You know what? Fuck this. I'm just going to get rid of everything. You want to know why? Because I'm just going to end up fighting more weapons anyway that, I, that I'm going to use. I'm just going to get rid of literally everything. You know I'm going to find a bunch more weapons. So what's the point of me hoarding these all? Salvage them all. Look at that. Tons. Now, what about armor? So, again, I'm still using this armor set. It's the Wuhan set. That's, well, that's the Wuhan. And then this is Wuhan Cavalry, Wuhan Cavalry, Wuhan Cavalry. We never found the last Wuhan Cavalry piece, right? Yeah, look. There's nothing, nothing better, honestly. It really is kind of the better one. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to get rid of everything else. Did I get a DLC armor? I'm not aware. I don't think so. I don't think, there's, I, don't think I got Welcome. any DLC armor. stuff up any further. Oh, we have better items here I might want to equip. Let's take a look. These accessories. So, shock accumulation. This one is equipment drop rate, status effect accumulation, dragon cure pot, HP recovery up. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, that's way better. <laughs> Lightning resistance, martial arts spirit damage, ice attack. Hairpin. Fire face spell. I'm not using fire spells. Damage reduction upon deflection. Oh, that's good. I'll take damage reduction upon deflection. Okay. Um. So now can I upgrade any of this armor at all that My I'm wearing? Stomach's growling. Guess I best go out and Yeah, hunt. it's rank four leather though. So it's the highest level. I can only do two pieces. Fourteen. Seventeen. I guess we'll do the one that's a seventeen increase. And this is a 14 increase. So we'll do the 14. Okay, there we go. Go to the flag, see if you can retrieve it. Retrieve what? DLC armor? I guess not, since there's no items I can claim. Alright, let's go back. How do we go back here? Is this it? The Battle of the Pass? It says level 37 recommended? Wait, where are we? Is this where we are? The Battle of Wallagon Pass? I'm so confused right now. We did these two. Yeah, we did both of these stages. That's a sub-battlefield. Yep. This is the next main one. Level 30 freaking 7? I'm not level 37. I'm like 20 something. I don't think we're going to do very well here, but let's give it a shot. Jeez. I'll try with this, uh, this javelin. See if it's any good. All right, guys. We've got about 40 minutes left on the stream. We'll see how far I get here. Thanks to everyone who has chilled and anyone who has supported the stream in any way. Last chance. If you would like to support this stream, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Michelle thinks the game looks cool. I don't know, man. I'm still not sold. I'm about 10 hours in now. I'm still not sold that it's any good. That's not a good thing. I'm going to try the javelin and see how it works. By the way, I can level up one more time. And this is the best stat to level for this weapon. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Wood. Okay. Well, there we go. Can I use this thing? Oh god, see how bad that was for a second? Are these enemies? Yes! 
Well, I pissed him off. Oh, shit. I guess that wasn't very smart. Obviously not what I intended. Oh man, I hit the wrong thing. They're gonna fucking respawn now. God damn it! A lot of enemies down here, man. I don't like this. I think it's way too early for there to be a flag in here, right? I feel like there's it's too early. We should just try to get past these guys. Get to the next grouping. Build the buffer. I tried. Oh, that was a good special attack right there. I like the special attacks on this weapon. Zurong. That guy's name is Zurong. They're all fighting each other. Who's fighting who? I can't even tell. Because they're all below me. I can't really tell who's who. Oh, shit. Who's Zurong? I'm looking forward to Oblivion tonight, indeed. Nice chill stream. Alright, fuck all of them. Let those dummies fight each other. No flags, right? I haven't seen any. I don't think there was a flag there. Oh, Jasper, it sounds like Cat's home for real this time. <laughs> yes, Cat is actually home now, Jasper. Alright, let's pause. And now I will actually really take Cat, uh, Jasper downstairs. I'll be right back. Man, it was just a bunch of zombies this time. It was just a bunch of freaking zombies I had to kill. So I had to brain them a few times, stab them in the head. Now I'm still waiting for Kat to come home. I don't know. Okay, no, she's actually home this time. All right, let's continue. Oh, look at this asshole. Oh. He threw a fucking spear. That is a fun special attack, but man, do you need a lot of space to do it, right? Right in the face! <laughs> that was beautiful. Right in, the, right in the face, right in the mush. Fucker hit me. Okay. 
Okay, so we got a bird's eye view. We have our first flag over there, which I would obviously like to get. And it looks like we're going to continue up that way. Is there anything else besides the one flag? Like, I see an item on the ground, but if I can just rush to the flag and get it and get the fuck out of there, then again, maybe I can't get to the flag from there? It doesn't look like you're high enough. It looks like they're guarding a chest. And then it looks like maybe you have to get the flag from another direction. Perhaps. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, right? It doesn't look like you can reach it from here. It looks too high for a double jump. Unless you can get it from the top of the chest. What do you think? I want to fuck that. You can't stand on a chest? Apparently you can't stand on a chest. Which I didn't know. Apparently you cannot stand on a chest. <laughs> It's, you, it, you just clip around it and through it. Wow. Al Wong did a super chat. said, Al Wong Fallen Dynasty. There you go. How exciting. You can't jump on a chest. It's too complicated. That's a game mechanic for a, a much different, better game. Wow! Uh, that guy wasn't even there before. I see what I mean. This is what I was worried. The special attack. I just whiff constantly with it now. See, they interrupt it. Yeah. The special attack sucks. It's only good if you're doing one-on-one -on -one fights and you have enough space to do it. They're going to constantly interrupt it. That sucks because I really like the special attack with the halberds I had. And now this special attack is shit. That really does suck. It was a key part of my gameplay and everything. to the new attack pattern. Thank you who, who made for a super chat. Appreciate that. Yeah, I got used to the new attack pattern of this weapon. It's brand new. It's very different. I mean, there's a lot of guys down there. I'd have to fight. i fight them all. See? There's one on one, stuck in the corner. Amazing move. Really good. The one's gonna be like 2v1, two, 3v1, two forget it. You're only gonna be able to hit one of them with it. My right, parry. Piece of shit. I got a waste of healing because he only did about 90% damage with that hit that I did parry. Level 7, level 6. Of course, I had to aggro ball. I don't want this. I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't want to do this special attack. I keep forgetting the special attack is completely different with this weapon. So I did it and that's it. Yeah, this game is bad. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. I'm sorry, guys. And no one's talking. No one's engaging. Everyone's ignoring the stream. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. It's not a good game. It's a game that if you insanely love these two, these insanely challenging games, it maybe you like it. Uh, to me, 
If I'm gonna play them, I'm gonna play the best ones. This is not one of the best ones at all. Seriously, it's just not. Um, it's it's actually kind of depressing that we now have all these games coming out that are nowhere near as good as FromSoft, and uh, this is what we have until FromSoft puts out games. We gotta put them so far ones. I don't know why there's three enemies. <laughs> it just sucks. It's just not fun to play. I wish it was. I really wish it was. I wish I was having fun. I'm literally not having any fun with it. Forget that. I'm just going to run through everything. Optional flag. What I'm doing is running around and trying to see what exactly is in the area. This is an optional flag completely. I miss. I jumped and pressed Y. He goes over him and doesn't hit him at all. What? Didn't follow me, huh? I'm assuming you can't go through the fire. Wow, major popping with all these enemies. Look, because I'm running through full speed, insane amounts of popping. Wow. Was there even anything over there? Was there a flag? I didn't see a flag. There's crafting items, rank 5 leather and stuff, I mean, okay. Your major objective is finding all the flags. If there's no flags, there's no point in being over here. What the fuck? Wow. Ambulatory, no, no, really major rage against the boss. The game's just not good, though. Like, I'm bored of it. I'm seriously bored. I'm just, like, running around looking for the flags to level up. I just don't feel like, like, doing anything. It's just not a very good game, in my opinion. It's kind of boring. Like, really boring. Ugh. Sometimes a tactical retreat is best. That is true. It's pretty darn boring. It's very uninspired. 
you know, it's Dynasty Warriors plus Sekiro gameplay. It doesn't really bring anything new to the franchise, to any kind of gameplay or anything of this type at all. Um, here we are. This is what I was going for, by the way. I was trying to get the whole time with this flex. I got it. You know what I mean? Like, you have to explore the stages, and you have to hit all the flags in order to actually properly do a stage right. If you don't, then you're massively underleveled to the final boss, which is stupid. Like, if I just want to go through the stage, I should be able to. Nope! You gotta fully explore every stage top to bottom to get every flag or else you're weak. Like, what? Here's a mini boss I just found randomly out of nowhere. I had no idea it was a mini boss. Look at that damage he just did with one hit, by the way. I had a full energy bar. He did 99% damage with his first hit. Basically, it's like they want me to waste my time going through the entire stage, micro or, or, or micro searching every area, killing every single enemy, in order to make any progress. Look, everything across there's 15 plus. So what they're essentially telling you is that's too high level right now. You shouldn't be doing that. So they want, they want to go back and fight everyone back here. Why? Double unblockable. It's so boring. <laughs> it really is. Like, you get to a point, like, same shit over and over. I'm going to memorize every fucking attack pattern in the game. Pillows. Kid, I'll never reach Lu Bu. I have to fight that mini boss. You saw that, right? I have to fight that mini boss guy, and he's level 20. There's no way to do it. There's no way to just rush to the boss. I'd have to literally go back and painstakingly cover every inch of this stage to get every optional flag in order to have enough levels to actually go fight him. So, due to the way they've designed the game, you can't even just rush the things you want to do. You're, oh, here's a hidden flag. Look at that. You're limited to what you can actually do. Pretty bad game design, in my opinion. If you want to just rush whatever you want, you should be able to. The game doesn't let you. This is going to take us down to where we can't do anything. Everything over there is still level 15. So we definitely have to take this optional flag over here to get level enough to uh, survive. I've come up on the side before. I don't know how I did that, though. How did I come in from the side? There's like a side way to enter. Now I'm just going straight, which means they're all going to be alerted. Oh, was it over here? It was over here. Do it. Level five now. That kill. A soldier's letter. How do I do with that? Need someone their mail. 
<laughs> so there's the big. Why is Jimmy? What the fuck? This is. I guess there's a guy. There's an archer. It's a big guy. There's an archer. And there's a guy to his right. That's really the problem. If I can just fight the big guy one on one, but there's another guy over there. So if I can get the drop on that guy, then maybe I can do it. So I guess there's no way I'm getting to Lubu. There's a mini boss that's level 20 that I'm never going to be able to beat on this stream. So it's not happening. I think it's just me and the big guy. It is. Seven. Everything across that river is 17 or whatever. So I don't know how seven is good enough, but there you go. <laughs> Level seven. Okay. So that's it. I already got the item and stuff up here. Yeah. Marks the scroll to the super chat. When's the next stream of this? I don't know if there's going to be one Marks the scroll. Quite frankly, if you take a look, just ever since basically an hour ago. We lost a bunch of our viewership. The engagement's way down. The contributions definitely dried up. Like, everything slowed down, and it doesn't seem like many people very very much care. Including me. Like I said, it's not a very good game, so... Again, it's not that it's a non-functional game. I just don't find it fun to play. That's the difference here. I want to I clarify that. It seems like the game's fully functional. I'm just not having fun with it. And if I'm not having fun with it, I don't see why I'm going to continue it. I don't want people to think that the game's broken or something. It's definitely not. Okay. Is that a flag? So we have a tiger blocking a flag. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Oh, what the hell? Dude, you see them all appear out of thin air? None of them were there. They all popped in in front of me. Are you fucking kidding? They literally all appeared out of nowhere. They weren't even fucking there. Wow, what a great game. game sucks. They literally all appeared in front of me. I'm like, I just want to solo the tiger. No. Five guys fucking teleport in out of nowhere and spawn out of thin air in front of me. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Like I said, this is the difference between a polished game and a, and a, a non-polished game. It's a completely different style of dev, dev game design. Where is he? This is the invader. Now he doesn't come. Now he doesn't show up. Oh my god.
Okay. I double killed them. I don't even know how I did. Well, I got to the flag because the tiger fell down like an idiot. <laughs> Amazing. So I went to level 8. But everything across here is like level 15. So I don't know what they're expecting me to do here. And the boss over there is level 20. There's no other flag or anything down there. There's just these two tigers. What are you doing? You gonna fight me or what? This is what a piece of shit. Are you shitting me? Wow. Instant death. Fuck this. What a fucking stinker. found. The ballista, nothing else, huh? Probably not gonna let me jump here. Oh, I tried to jump and he falls. A comedy prat fall. Amazing. There's a flag. How the fuck do I get up up there to get it? I get up there. Look, there's no ladder. There's no way you can get high enough to fall to it. How am I supposed to get to that? Look at it. that maybe I could jump and land on oh my it's fucking idiot yeah I don't know I see a flag I have no way to reach it what's up Cheerio here I see no way to reach it the only other thing you can do here is fight the mini boss which is level fucking 20 a level 20 mini boss to get to the next part of the state unless I can find a way up here see something there 
not looking promising though. How the fuck do I get up there? I don't know. How the fuck do I get up there? There's all these high up areas that don't appear you can reach them. Like you're supposed to be able to get higher, but I damn if I know how, right? Look right there. We got this. Okay. Okay, now what? Look, now I can't go. Oh, what's this? There's a crank? There's a crank. So if I can get up there and turn a crank, maybe it opens something. Rotate. Aha! Well, there's another flag. That's a level 10 now. Just by running in circles and not fighting anything. <laughs> Getting all these flags. Almost out of time. I guess we're not fighting Lu Bu. There's no way to get to him because I gotta beat this level 20 mini boss. I'm only level 10. I would have to systematically kill everything in the area to get that high. You know? It's just that's what I mean. The whole game is so tedious. You can't even like rush through to do what you would like to do. The game's not built that way. If you rush, you can't beat anything. You have to waste time going in circles, killing all the menial enemies to level up enough to get to fight the mini boss. It's stupid. <laughs> Showed up out of nowhere, literally appeared out of thin air. You saw that, right? They just appear. They don't even fucking come up to you. They spawn on you and shit. Bad, very badly done. Rank 15 is the guy who had killed me earlier. That's the mini boss straight ahead. He's level 20. I'll never beat him. Well, I got my shit back. Not that it mattered. Giant Wrestler's Greaves. Large, genuine chi clot. Still only level 11 against zero healing. Now I'm supposed to fight a mini boss that's level 20. What a well designed game, right? It's like they expect you to master every single piece of every area. There's no way I'll kill this guy. I was on level 7. Or maybe I will. 
Oh, no, I have an invasion. There's an invasion. How nice. Where? Sucks. I wanted to try to fight the mini-boss, but now I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to run out of time. So fucking tedious of a game. So forget it. I got to go here get my healing. <sighs> Look at that, I need 200 to level. Okay. Right, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not going to win, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm just going to run right to it. Now there's an invasion. <laughs> Why is there an invasion during the fucking mini boss? Does it even make sense? The, the game mechanics overlap each other and don't even make sense. Why the fuck is there an invasion during a, a scheduled scripted mini boss? <laughs> you stupid fucking game. Again! Dude, this is bullshit! This su what just happened? What the fuck just happened? Why did I just lose 75? so bad oh my god it's so bad of a game man gonna beat two at once. And one's a level 20 mini boss. I'm done. Dude, this is impossible. It's fucking impossible. <laughs> it really is. Why is there a fucking invasion during a scripted level 20 mini boss? You dumb fucking idiots. I have no idea. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Aha! This is how I do it. Okay. Well, at least I figured out how to get the flag. Not that it's going to help me. Fucking stay out, you piece of shit.
I swear I tried to parry. Stab, 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 move. Stab, 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 move. Uh, when does your combo end so I can do something? If that invasion comes back, I'm just done. If that invasion resummons, I'm not playing this anymore. See, I tried to parry. I thought I timed it right. The camera just fused into everything, and when it backed out, I'm already dead. Yeah, this is terrible. I, I really don't like this game. <laughs> it's so bad. You seem to be made of stir stuff. Parry on both hits. Nothing. Parry. Parry. Nope. No parry. Nothing. Just doesn't do it. Yeah, what it is, you're doing something, he decides to do the super armor attack, there's no way to stop what you're doing. So he'll just do it at any point and interrupt what you're doing, and it's a guaranteed death. You can't even do anything about either hit. So this is a game that was, it feels like it's 10 to 15 years outdated. It really does. Yeah, can't do anything, there you go. Two guaranteed hits. I'll just interrupt what you're doing. Two guaranteed hits. Again, 
I'm parrying his unblockables. I go to do my counterattack. I'll just do a second unblockable right afterward. Why does he instantly recover from a parried unblockable? What kind of a stupid combat engine is that? If I parried your unblockable, I should now have the opportunity to get a reward for it. Now, oh, you're just going to continuously attack. You wish to pass, huh? A fool hearty endeavor that will be your last. No parry. Look how much damage I lost. Just won't parry now. Nope. Now it interrupts everything. unblockable because he can interrupt all his animations with another second animation Interrupt it. I'm trying to punish. Interrupt my attack with another attack. Even though you parried my unblockable, I will do a second unblockable that will do all your health. It is the dumbest thing ever. No, you should not immediately recover from your mistake and get another attempt at an attack. That does 100% damage, by the way. Every, every time I try to counterattack, he goes into an unblockable. He's doing backflips. Can I get my stamina? Can I get my fucking stamina? Jesus Christ. 
Christ! For the longest time, they wouldn't give me my stamina. So you don't get a horse. He has a horse and you don't get a horse. Hmm. Scooter did a super chat. He says, I flew through the game until I got to this boss. I'll do one more shot, but then I'm out of time. I'm already 15 minutes over what I would usually do. So, thank you, Scooter, for the super chat. <clears throat> so, all you do is you never attack. You just parry. Thank you, Legmic, for the super chat. You just parry till he's off the horse. Then you have a real fight afterward. Okay. Ever get hit by that attack, it's an instant death. But it's parryable. It's red, right? Which means it's parryable. So the, the the horse phase is very easy. The horse phase is actually very easy. The the combat phase against him will be tough. Okay. I'm out of time, guys. As much as I would love to keep trying this boss, because this Lu Bu, it is the legendary guy from Dynasty Warriors. I'm, I'm totally out of time. I went extra and everything. So, all right. Well... The way I see it is that the playthrough is in the hands of the viewers. I don't know. I really don't like the game. I'm just being honest with you. I don't like it. It's inferior to FromSoft. And it's got a lot of annoying, annoying, annoying things about it that just don't feel 
polished, refined, or, or worth a full playthrough. Um, <clears throat> I also definitely noticed today, despite viewership, right, which is going to be great. Why do you think it's going to be great? Because people are here to see me die a million times to a hard game. I noticed engagement and support were both lower, right? Which is what I told you I was afraid would happen with a game like this. I said probably around the third stream, and exactly like clockwork, as I had predicted, as I had predicted on the third stream, we had a big dip. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, thank you to my ruin who re-upped his membership. Okay. Until next time, if there is a next time, I'll have to think about it. All right.